can of spray paint and you enter this world that you have no control over. It's like a genie in a bottle and all this, like, this world comes out of the can. It's a major process of sketching, Photoshop, and then when it gets to the wall, it changes again. It evolves through time. My technique, I go far away to dusk. I'm like, I just like get just little dots of spray paint will hit just to get those good fades. I turn the can upside down to get nice sharp edges. I usually use a gold dot, and the gold dot is my favorite cap. I think people are gonna look at what Northeastern is doing and go, wow, they really are taking this initiative to use street art as a way to activate the space and engage the student body. We've never had a dinosaur on campus, and now that we have one, we can't go back. It's the best piece on campus. People are adapting to street art culture. It's the largest art movement in the world right now. And Northeastern sees that, and they see the value of it and it's only going to make kids be like, they're communicating with my language. I think it's really nice to have the colors on campus. Looking around, it just sort of brightens your day, especially when it's a little dreary outside. And nice to have a little artwork and just somebody's imagination just up for all of us to be able to see and kind of look at as we go through our hard days here. <laughs> what I do hope is that people look at this mural and they see what my intention was, was to show my creative process through being a young kid and picking up a can of spray paint and this world that I created in my imagination, which was later put on a wall.